Welcome back to the studios everyone, hopefully you had a great year. I'm starting 2024 off with a new series being airsoft weapons. Starting with the BNT MP9, here are all the parts I'll be adding to the gun. First up, when I got this gun, I got it with two HBA tab magazines. For the sake of the video and realism, I bought some BMP1 magazines which fit the MP9. I'm also using Worsk BMP1 magazine covers which work perfectly and add a good aesthetic and also makes reloading faster for me. I'm also running a new pro style vertical grip since I like the ergonomics of it. As my optic, I'm running PCS Show to Holographic Sight in 10 and it calls it green and red dot. I also use a side cover to protect my hollow during games. Then I run a V300 tactical flashlight that comes with a pressure pad gel switch. I would have run a laser too but since it's not allowed in airsoft I'm not adding the extra weight for the looks. I know I make quite the videos on YouTube in 2023 with my first ever 3 d printed streams. And I had to learn so much in between through editing, digital sculpting, printing, electronics and more. And with more experience and time, I would like to start doing a bunch of different stuff like airsoft guns. So you can definitely expect to see more gun related content in the future. But feel free to comment down below what I should make. This gun is officially licensed by BNT, made by KWA and is a gas blowback as seen at the start of the video. No hate to AGs, I know they perform better, but ever since my time in the military, I can't really stand the sound of them. That's why I go for GBBs only nowadays, and the only AG that I bought back in the day as a kid will be upgraded into HPA in a future video. I bought this gun used for a reasonable price and must say that I'm very satisfied with it. Now we can get started with the build. So starting out with the grip, I'll be attaching this vertical grip. I took out the bottom that locks it into place so I can use it on the Piketty rail. Then I adjust the grip until I had a comfortable holding position and screwed the bottom back in, which locked the grip into place. Then I moved on to the flashlight. The top part of the flashlight just opens up and is powered by a 1-3A battery. Then I put the screw for the mount in place and tightened the mount just a bit so I could get it on the rail. So back to talking about the GBB aspect. The VMP magazine also holds 48 rounds which isn't too bad for airsoft games. I run 4 magazines in total, 1 in the gun, 3 on my vest and use a pistol with additional 3 magazines which isn't too bad. Of course it isn't an AEG with 150 round mag, but the realism of it really pushes you to play differently and makes it more fun in my opinion. I then inserted the flashlight onto the Picatinny rail on the side to a position where it wouldn't be bothered by the suppressor. Lastly, I connect the switch cable to the flashlight. Then I wired the pressure pad with some velcro and moved it into place. The gun did come with a BNT MP9 suppressor, yeah I call it suppressor not silencer because it suppresses the sound, not silences it totally. And added some EVA foam around it to help with the sound. The suppressor is a dummy for looks or covering up a tracer unit, but I would better just use it as a suppressor. So I cut some EVA foam and placed them inside. I also had the suppressor cover for another gun which I decided to use with the MP9 instead. Also the color of the hollow bothered me since it didn't match with the gun so I decided to give the top part its own cover. I cut up some double sided adhesive patches that is used for sewing normally and applied the adhesive part and added on the side. I then cut up where the side screws are and just decided to cover them to prevent them from rusting when it rains onto the side and only open up a hole for the rail mount screw. 
Answer the two LR44 batteries and close up the sight. I added the hollow into place and ran the torch wires under the first rail to keep it away from the line of sight. I added the VAP1 magazine covers on the magazine and inserted my mag. Lastly, I decided to go with a single point sling, which allows me to quickly transition between my primary and secondary, and the gun was ready for the glamour shots.